cold outside right now and it's still pretty foggy. Obviously, daylight saving time, uh, time change is a little different now, so it is much darker at this hour. So you can't really see that low visibility. But here's some pictures that were sent in to us earlier today. This is from Connor in the Boulder area. He got three inches. He snapped this this morning. You can see the snow piling up on the cars there. And some of our snow totals, Niwot, two and a half inches, Arvada and North Glen and Brighton about an inch out at DIA. Just a trace amount. I woke up here downtown and we just had a light dusting on many of the rooftop areas and on some grassy spots. So satellite and radar are still going pretty strong from about Meeker through Grand Junction down towards Telluride. And as we head towards parts of Larimer County, still a bit snowy. And then once we head uh, towards southern Colorado, we still have quite a bit of snow in those parts of the state. So here downtown, there may be a few showers that roll on through here in the metro area. It's been very, very light, but it is snowing for us right now. And there looks like to be an icy mix down uh, near Parker right now. And as you head towards south and east of Denver, taking a look to the high country and up to our west again near Meeker right now, we have some heavier snowfall near Grand Junction, Montrose area and Delta as well. And we still have this thick fog. The visibility is just awful in some areas, and that could continue overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. So as we head towards Idaho Springs, Georgetown, Berthet Pass down near Bailey, that visibility is less than a uh, tenth of a mile in many areas. So just be extra cautious. It's still pretty bad down near Centennial and Littleton. And even here in Denver, our visibility is reduced. That goes out towards DIA and Bennett as well. Taking a look at our future cast for tonight. Again, that snow will start to clear. So by midnight, most of it's wrapped up. By 2 a.m., we could still have a little snow in the southern part of the state. Then tomorrow morning, we're waking up to cold temperatures, potentially still some fog out there. And then we do have clearing skies throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. So it's a much warmer day tomorrow, but it is going to be a slow climb to get in those 50s tomorrow. We just have winter weather advisories in place tonight or through tomorrow morning for these mountain areas. Uh, both areas expire either at 11 o'clock tonight or 5 a.m. on Wednesday. Could pick up another several inches in some spots, maybe one to three for a Sangre de Cristos. Localized amounts could reach up to six inches. Now, right now, it's 28 in Denver, 29 in Boulder, 27 in Fort Collins, 33 out in Burlington, 43 in Avon, and 49 over in Grand Junction. We have 29 degrees here downtown, and we don't have much of wind right now, so that's good news. Earlier today, both out at DIA and downtown, we hit 36 degrees, but take a look at that. That was just after midnight. We were in the low to mid-20s at 741 this morning, so again, it was certainly cold. Tonight, even colder. 19 degrees in Denver and Fort Collins, 22 in Boulder, 25 out in Burlington, 16 in Aspen, 17 for Craig and Eagle, and 26 over in Grand Junction. Tomorrow, it takes us a while to get there, but we will get to the low 50s. 53 in Denver, 51 in Boulder. 52 out in Burlington, 50 in Frisco and Aspen, 54 in Grand Junction. For your five-day forecast, we're looking at the 50s on Wednesday, 40s on Thursday, but a much warmer day on Friday. And really the next seven to ten days look to be very warm, and warm relatively speaking for this time of year, <laughs> and uh, uh, plenty of sunshine. So we're not looking at any real more snow or rain after we leave today. Right, I like how the 50s are now considered a warm-up. Exactly. So. <laughs> That's average. You know, we'll take it. Mm -hmm.